My name is uh, BM1 Stephen Douglas, and uh, I'm a craft master for the Causeway Ferry and the Warp Tugs that we have out here. Uh, my job is pretty much to drive the craft, to know everything about the craft, how all the systems operate, and uh, also the safety of the crew and the effectiveness of the mission. So our job uh, for this operation is to download an MPF ship, which is out there on the horizon, and we bring the, uh, the ISO containers, and we bring the track vehicles and all the rolling stock, and uh, pretty much do the throughput operations to offload that ship so the ship can come in and it get its maintenance done, as well as all the vehicles and the equipment on board. Here in Florida, uh, loading and offloading cargo from the ship onto our causeway ferries. Uh, we're transiting these loads back and forth from the ship over here to Blunt Island Command. Uh, the days have been long, uh, it's been pretty hot outside, um, but I'm just making sure I'm out here, keeping safety for my guys, and we're just been enjoying the up. The landing craft assistant on the USNSA, uh, our job primarily is to bring craft alongside, causeway ferries, landing craft, uh, get them loaded out and get them away from the site safely uh, with the full complement of uh, gear for the beach. Uh, this is a training evolution, so we do have to take time. Uh, we, we have a deadline, but we, we want to make sure we take time and, and, and make sure the craft masters and the deckhands know uh, what we're trying to do. We're trying to get uh, gear on board safely and position it in a way that uh, when it comes off the craft, it's safe. My name is Chief Warren Officer Ferris. I'm a, uh, my MOS is 2110. I'm an Ordnance Vehicle Maintenance Officer. Uh, for the purpose of this exercise, I've been serving as the OPP, the uh, Offload Preparation Party OIC. I work hand in hand with uh, Captain Shea, who is currently serving as the MAGTAF Offload Liaison Officer, the MOLO. Uh, my relationship with him is essentially I'm his, I'm his right hand man as far as preparing the equipment here on the ship for offload. Um, as we started going through and developing the offload plan, of course, some of the things that we were uh, keeping in mind was the commander's warfighting priorities, and that helped us basically uh, identify which pieces of equipment needed to come off first in order to support um, operation uh, or exercise, rather, uh, bold alligator. Uh, this is the first, to my knowledge, this is the first uh, maritime prepositioning force MPF exercise that has been conducted by 2nd MEF, uh, 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force in approximately 15 years. I'm Lieutenant J.G. Puckett from ACB-1. Uh, I'm standing in the lighters control officer watch here on uh, USNSA. So the Lighters Control Officer is in charge of a few things. He's in charge of all the craft alongside within 500 yards of the MPF ship. So the craft that we have are causeway ferries, we have warping tugs, utility boats, 
and landing craft utilities, uh, main vessels that we use in this kind of operation. Um, so my role as LCO, again, is to control the craft alongside. I want to make sure there's no conflicts and making sure we're getting the craft where they need to be to offload the ship. I'm a rep marshal, and we're basically bringing in different craft here uh, to offload for the Marines. Uh, basically, beach masters, all we do is uh, bring in the craft uh, to the beach. And uh, my job today, uh, being a rep marshal, was to flag them in and to actually bring in the craft. 